<laughs> I'm just laughing and it's giving me good. <laughs> I think the world should come together and make an unofficial rule. You can only do karaoke when you're drunk. Because if you're totally sober, all of it sounds horrible. That's not what two tech companies think today, as Spotify and Snapchat will now officially be rolling out a new karaoke feature on both their platforms. But let's see what Spotify's saying as they enter this weird market that they've never been in before. Okay, Spotify appears to be building a karaoke feature just as Twitch Sings shuts down. Twitch Sings was a game that was provided by Twitch itself. It was a way for streamers to broadcast themselves singing to songs that were in their library. It was actually a pretty large library of different record labels and different artists. I'm sure it was just a matter of promotion for Twitch and the record labels to make this agreement, but DMCA's kind of taken over there and artists have not been liking how Twitch streamers have been using their music in their video. This article by Murray Stassen actually points out that the timing is the most coincidental thing. Spotify just appears to be building their own app. A tweet from Jane Wong here says that Spotify is working on a karaoke mode. The vocal level is adjustable. Here's a Rickroll for all of you. If you want to try out the karaoke beta, click the link in the bio. <laughs> So it looks very similar to Spotify's old karaoke feature. Yeah, they used to have a karaoke feature. Does anybody remember this? Music's Match used to actually allow lyrics to appear on the screen, only in the desktop version, as the song was playing. So it would kind of roll over the lyrics. It wouldn't necessarily highlight which word you were on, but you would be able to look at lyrics from their website as the song was playing in time. Now you have to remember that Spotify is a tech company in the music industry. When they introduced lyrics a few years back, that was purely to improve their product. They wanted to be superior to an iTunes or a Pandora where most other users were. So it was purely at the benefit of the consumer to have those lyrics on the screen. Now Spotify's user base is up to 240 million active users. They don't have to worry about impressing each customer. Now they have to worry about their supply chain, which is their artists, and they need to promote their music through different forms. To entertain both the artists and the users, they've now gamified that lyrics by playing karaoke. There's no way they are doing this to improve the customer experience. I'm highly critical of Spotify, and that's why I'm here to tell you that this is now another vehicle of Spotify's payola. Paid promotion for your music as an artist. You see this with all of their playlists, that most of them are from record labels like Universal, Sony, or Warner Brothers, the big three. So if Spotify chooses not to gamify their karaoke feature, not adding points, not making it shareable, not recording video, expect there to be a playlist of karaoke specific songs. And those songs will all be from highest paying record labels and highest paying artists for their promotion. Of course, I'm being hyper skeptical here. Let's just wait until the Spotify karaoke track comes out and we'll see if it works or not. Although there are some external signs that tell us that this is some form of promotion for music. If you're not on Spotify when you're on your phone, you're definitely on Snapchat, and Dream Reality Interactive has teamed up with Snap to introduce Sing Heads. So it's not just a filter, it is a separate app from Snapchat that allows you to record in the app and then share to your own Snapchat story or with any of your friends. The nice thing is this one's already out as of September, so we're gonna go through this game features list and see how it compares. Ugh. Okay, I don't like this already. D d that doesn't even look like me, does it? Looking good. It's a, yeah, right. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay. Rihanna, stay. Okay. Uh, what songs do I know? That's what I need to do. Moves like Jagger, I know, but that's too high. Uh, strip that down. Hello. Scared to be lonely. Natural. Cause I'm a natural. Uh, oh, I know Shallow. Slow hands. Okay, we can do slow hands. Although this Bitmoji face is like scaring the crap out of me. It's like all up in my grill. So let's see. Just so you know, sing the right notes to fill the pitch bars. Reactions show how well you did. How about this? Okay, good, great, perfect. Let's make our bets right now. Let me know in the comments below if you think any of this is going to be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing and it's giving me good <laughs> <laughs> Great start. <laughs> we could do this, baby, all night. Yeah. Cause I want you bad. And I want you, baby. Okay. Um, it looks mad at me. Did you see that little guy? He looked really mad at me. Oh. That's like one of their tracks. I'm already noticing that this is like a karaoke track. Um, it's not the original. Let's view the challenge. Tap begin to view the challenge. Okay. 
Uh, we have to spin something. It unlocks a song. I see. Okay. Now tap play to start the song or unlock spin to spin again. Well, I don't really want to unlock a spin. I guess we have to sing it again. Here we go. Bitmoji's freaking out. Slow hands. Okay. We got a beat rush. Great. 150. He wasn't as mad at me that time. I see. You're smashing it. Come back tomorrow for your next challenge. Until then, get out there and sing your head off. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to sing my Bitmoji head off. This thing is scaring me. Like, look at it back there. It's just like moving around. Ooh, see that? That's weird. Okay, well, let's see what other songs we have here. Looks like a lot of Imagine Dragons, Martin. Okay, so look, as I'm gonna say, we're gonna go through all these artists. I bet you they are all Universal. All right, Niles Capital. Capital is with Universal. Great. Imagine Dragons, Interscope, which is also Universal. Cool. Rihanna, Rock Nation, which is Universal. A little weird one, but Aqua, still under the rights of Universal, okay. Maroon 5, Interscope, Universal. So I hope you see the trend here. Uh, it might not have anything to do with promotion, but you know if the song is in their library, it's getting promoted. There's probably no direct royalty payments, but there is a sync license that's getting paid to all of the artists on this platform. Not to mention, this is all under the intention that you're gonna go to your Snapchat after you record one of these crazy things, and people are gonna see it, people are gonna listen to that song and say, ooh, I wanna sing that song too. Oh, they come out with daily songs, it looks like. So I can click this to say, want tomorrow's song. All will be revealed after this ad. Okay, so we have to support the game by watching an ad, I see. Freestyle, instrumental, let's see what this is. All right, y'all hear that? Uh. I'm popping off for my YouTube, yeah. Okay, so we can unlock different playlists using, I guess, watching ads. So let's see what happens here if I unlock Party Time. Oh, I see. Okay, 24K Magic, Every Time We Touch, Believe by Cher. Oh, I know all these songs, Moves Like Jagger. Okay, so their library is very small so far, but you can unlock them by watching ads. That all makes sense. So let's try to unlock one, okay? Um, we're gonna go into movies. Staying alive, shallow, sunflower. Let's do shallow. Um, I believe I have to watch this ad first. I loved A Star Is Born. It was like really compelling for our generation. Wow. And in the bad times I fear myself. So the lines did not give me enough information about the melody, even though I barely know the melody. I've listened to that song enough. So I got two stars on that. Uh, there wasn't any guide track in the background either. It's not like there were any vocalists. A couple of them did have vocals in them, but there wasn't a guide track. Uh, I'm quite embarrassed to do it, but we need to share one to my Snapchat. So let's maybe get another song that I know a lot better, and I'm gonna share it, and I'll let you know what all my friends think. So the app Sing Heads is buggy. The app just seems so separated from Snapchat. It's almost hard to share it with your friends. And I kind of picture anytime we share these karaoke videos, chances are people are gonna tap through that story as quick as they can because they know it's a karaoke track. So what is Snapchat trying to accomplish with this? I'm not quite sure. Promotion does not seem like its purpose. I think maybe entertaining a new audience, a new crowd. They're trying to build a platform like a TikTok. It's just not gonna work because Snapchat only takes up 10 seconds of my life at the most. This was a 25 second blurb of a song that's already from five or six years past. I'm not paying attention to it now. When will I pay attention to it? And based on that experience, I'm gonna be really looking forward to what Spotify puts out with their karaoke feature. I will update you and we're gonna try it out the moment it comes out here on this channel. So if you're looking forward to that, subscribe down below. Let me know how you thought of my singing. Yeah, I already know it's gonna be bad. So instead of using that negative energy in a comment, just put it right, all that positive energy into a like on this video. I would so appreciate it. I'm gonna keep you updated with the music industry. So if you did like this video, please come back for the next one. Uh, hearts in the chat for everybody. Love you all. Have a good night.